Hi everyone, Kim here. Welcome to my channel, Glitter and Sparkle by Kim, where you'll find things ageless, beauty, and more. Today I thought I would do a sort of burgundy, purplish look. Um, kind of a darker look today. Usually I keep it light, but I thought today I would just do a little bit of a darker, darker look. So, um, but I'm using, um, it's kind of a burgundy purple shade. So with that said, we'll get started. So the first thing I'm going to do, of course, is use my usual e.l.f. Sun Touchable Woe Glow SPF 30. This is a primer as well as a um, SPF. So it includes both. And this actually gives your gives your I got too much out here. This actually gives your skin a little glow. Put some of this on my neck as well. But it doesn't give it too much of a glow. It gives you just the right amount of glow. And it just makes your skin look really healthy, I think. At least I think it does. And just rub that in all over your face, your neck. And I do put that on my eyes. And then I take my trusty fan and dry it a little bit. So today I'm going to go back and try the foundation Il Maquillage. I tried it that one time and I wasn't very happy with it. And then I used it again another time and I kind of liked it. So I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm kind of confused. So I thought I would go back and try this Il Maquillage and this is Woke Up Like This Il Maquillage Foundation. And this is the, and let me get my glasses so I can see. And this is the Il Maquillage 035, number 035. So we're gonna try this again. I figured I didn't give it a fair shot. So I wanted to give it a, give it another try. The one thing I didn't like about it is that this lid is loose. It comes off easy. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this all around my face. And I just do like one and a half pumps. And if I need any more, I'll add it. And then, of course, I'm going to use my BK Beauty 109. Whoops. 109 foundation brush. Let me just wipe this foundation off of my fingers here. We don't want to get it everywhere. So I'm just going to kind of pop that in. Spread it around and tap it in. And for some reason, now it seems like it, it just seems like it matches my skin more now than it did before. It didn't seem like it matched as well before. And now it does. Let's see if it covers up my redness. Got the redness around my nose. Get a little bit more. Bring that down my neck. Put a little bit extra on my cheeks where I have my redness. Of course my hair is sticking to my face. And 
I do put this over my eyelids. And I know a lot of people start their makeup with their eyes first. And you probably should. But I've just done it like this for so many years that I'm used to it. And I just find it easier and I always forget to start with my eyes first. I never can remember to do that because this is just the way I've done it for years and it just comes natural to me. Now doesn't that shade just look like it really matches my skin? Maybe it's just me, but last time I did not think it matched my skin whatsoever. I mean, I thought it looked okay. And I just go back in with a damp sponge. I just, this seems to take off any excess and it just makes it lay down nicer. And it takes off any excess, especially around your mouth and your nose. And get any out of my lines, my marionette lines. And around my eyes and my eyebrows. I just think this helps make it look a little more natural. Try to get that out of my number 11 lines. Okay. All right, and the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to use my, what am I going to use for contour today? I think for contour today, I'm just going to use my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This is kind of just a pretty color. It looks more natural. So I'm going to start with my tops of my cheeks. And of course, as I always say, you want to bring it up to keep it up because you want to lift everything when you're older. So I start up here, bring it down to about the outside of my eye. Same thing with the other side. Put a little bit on my forehead. Then to disguise my chubby chubbiness around my chin. And my jawline, I just put a little bit under my jawline and right on my jawline and I bring it down in a in a V on the front of my neck. And so that's the contouring. And then I'm going to take my blending brush which is an e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. And I'm just going to blend this in on my forehead up into my hairline. Brings a little bit of color to my forehead. Then I'm going to blend this on my cheeks. I'm blend this up. I hope everyone's having a great day today. It's kind of a dreary day here 
rainy and cloudy outside. I'm not really doing much today. Mostly just working online. And then you want to blend this in your jawline. And of course you want to blend all this in, but you don't want to blend it away. You just want to blend it in. My husband's working, so I'm here with the dogs, my babies. I hope you guys have liked my Bible verse posts. I am Christian, so that's something I just wanted to start doing is posting my Bible verses. The ones, my encouraging favorite Bible verses of mine, I wanted to start doing that. So I've been posting those maybe once a week along with my beauty quotes. Okay, and blush, I'm going to use the Essence, which is my favorite, the Essence Pure Nude Baked Blush. I love this blush. And this is like called Goldly Cassis. And I'm going to use my ColourPop F30 blush brush. And I'm just going to put this right above. And I'm not going to bring it too far down and I'm not going to bring it down here. I'm going to keep it up. Because when you're older, you like to keep things up. You don't want to bring it down. So I'm just going to bring this up on my cheeks. And I like to put a little bit up here around, like in a C. And then I'm going to blend the brush, the blush in with my contour. Just blend the edges out and blend it in with the contour. Okay, and then highlighter by uh, the Wet n Wild highlighter powder today. We'll just see how this one does. I haven't used this one in a while. And I'm going to see if I can find my highlighter brush. And this is my ColourPop F33 highlighter brush. Just going to put a swirl that around in there a little bit and just going to put that right on the tip tops of my cheekbones. Then I'm going to put some down the front of my nose and on the tip of my nose. Cupid's bow. A little on my chin and my forehead. And once again, blend. You don't want to blend it all, all, all away, so just blend lightly. Okay. And my chair. The legs are coming loose and my chair seems to be getting more wobbly and I am afraid it's going to actually break on me one day. I hope not. That would not be fun. That would hurt. I'm still drinking my morning coffee, so excuse me. My favorite coffee mug it says dog mom. Happiness is being loved by fur and wagging tails. Takes me a while to wake up. And next is my favorite thing. Not. My brows. And the first thing I'm going to do is brush my brows into place. I don't know why I despise doing brows, but I do. 
they just, I don't know, they just take so long. And it takes, for me, it takes such precision. And I'm not good at that. Okay. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my favorite. And this is the Pinky Bee Beauty. And this is the gel eyeliner. And this is in black. And I don't use a lot of this, just kind of on the outside because of my hooded eyes. So because of that, I don't use a lot. So do you guys have any plans today? Or are you like me and you working at home? Okay, so I think that's dry, but I, I dried it, but as you can see, it is still wanting to spread to my upper lid. Or that could be from where it was before. I just didn't get it all. Okay. So now we're going to put on eyeshadow and today I'm going to use the Milani Most Loved Mattes and those are the colors and today I think I'm going to use these two colors here this one and this one and let's see what those colors are Bust them off and no plum intended. Bust them off and no plum intended. I like that. Okay. If I can get this open here. All right. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my lid shade and I'm going to use the lighter color to put that as my lid color and just put that all over my lid and I have a lot of loose skin so eyeshadow is a huge huge challenge for me I bring this almost all the way up to my eyebrow. Honestly, I like cream shadows better. Cream shadows work much better with my hooded eyes. I can't do as many looks with the cream shadows, but they do look better. Okay, so now I'm going to take a smaller, like this small like pencil brush, which is a ColourPop E27 brush. Tap that off. And I'm going to just put this on the outside of my eye. And bring it down in like a number seven, a backwards number seven. And 
and bring it in on the outside. And what I have to make sure of, because I have hooded eyes, is I have to make sure that I come up high enough or it's not going to show because of my hooded eyes. And then the other side, a number seven, and I'm gonna make sure I come up high enough and bring it in. And I have to close my eyes to be able to get in the crevice, the crease of my eye. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take my ColourPop Stone Cold Fox palette and I'm going to use this glitter, or not glitter, but shimmer color in here. And I'm going to take my ColourPop E25 brush. And I'm going to put on this, what's called So Fine. It's like a light pink. On the inside of my eye, over the movable lid. And then the other side. sure if I got that on there or not. Got enough on there. Same thing inside mobile eye. And I'll put a little bit in the inside corner. Same thing over here. And then I take just a little bit of that and I put it on the inside corner of my eye right here. Okay. And the next thing I want to do is let me find me a brush. So then I'm going to take this smaller brush by ColourPop and I clean the brush and this is the E25. And then I'm going to, from, from the ColourPop, I'm going to take this light color here. It's like an off-white, like a cream color. And I'm just going to place that right under my brow. That's all I need in the Stone Cold palette. And so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to take a little wedge brush. And this is the ColourPop E30. 
It's like a little wedge brush. And I'm going to take this Milani Most Love Mattes. And I'm going to take that dark plum color. Dip it in that. Tap that off. And I'm going to bring that down under my eyes. And I bring it about three quarters of the way over. And then I'm going to take a little bit of tissue. And this is why a lot of people do their eyes first because I do have a little bit of fallout. So I'm cleaning up under my eyes. I'm just patting under there. And now we blend, blend, blend. I'm going to take my blending brush and just start blending, blending this out. Let's start up the top. I don't want a harsh line there. Okay, and then the next thing I do is I take, now I'm doing a full face makeup today, if you haven't noticed that, I'm doing full face makeup, and the next thing I'm using is my Bellamy Black Eyeliner, and I'm just taking this and lower, lining my lower lid lightly. And then the next thing I'm going to do is eyelashes. And so with my eyelashes, I'm going to curl my eyelashes, which mine are hard to curl because there's not much there to curl. Then I'm going to use my favorite mascaras, which is the Telescopic by L'Oreal. And there's my mascara. And the next thing I'm going to use is I'm going to use my Pharmacy, since I still have some new concealer from Pharmacy. I'm going to put this under my eye and on the outside. And clean up any of that excess eyeshadow that's out there and make a straight line. And I'm just going to pat this in. And then I'm just going to take my concealer brush and I'm going to blend that in a little more. And now, to brighten under my eye, I'm using the Catrice Under Eye Brightener. And I just use a tiny bit of this. And 
concealer more or less conceals and then this just brightens the area under your eye. Once again, I'm going to use my brush to blend that in a little more. And I'll make sure that's not in my lines, which it's not, so that's a good thing. And it's not in my lines. That's always a good thing. Okay. All right. And the next thing we have is lips. And that's my favorite thing because it's easy and it's last. So we're going to start with the lip pencil. And what lip pencil shall we use? So the lip pencil I'm using today is my pharmacy lip pencil. And this was in my favorite 227. I don't believe, I don't know if they have these anymore or not. And then today I'm going to fill this in with, let's see what lipstick we have. And we have Bordox, Bordex, oh my goodness. And the, the brand is not on here, it's 195 Bordex. And there's some little writing on the bottom, but it's just too small for me to see, I can't see what brand this is, but it's probably, probably Wet n Wild or something like that. And I just put that on my bottom lip and spread it to my top lip. And then I'm going to take Actually, I'm going to take my lighter lipstick in Olac, and I'm just going to put this right down in the center of my lip. And the next thing is, of course, my clear, which used to be clear, but now has lipstick in it. It's my City Lips. It's my City Lips Lip Plumper. Then I'm going to take my e.l.f. HD powder, just put a little bit of this in my cap, and I'm going to take my brush. Just kind of put that all over my face and a little bit under my eyes on my chin because that's where I tend to have the shine show up too much on my chin and that's uh, the elf HD powder and then the last but not least, and I need to buy me some new um,
fixer spray because this this one is about out and this was from pharmacy and this is my lap step just to lock my makeup in and I'm all done and I will go finish getting ready get my clothes changed and I'll be right back with the final look Okay, I am back, and so here is the final look. And the colors I used were mauve and plum. Okay, so that's today's look and I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you were able to get some value or entertainment out of it. But thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time and I love you all. Mwah.